Since Xbox Music is one of the cooler apps for the Windows 8 environment, and because it comes from Microsoft, and it really shows off what Microsoft sees as the new paradigm in apps, I thought it was a great example of how great Windows 8 can be for touch and how sucky it can be for mouse users. So I wanted to give a quick demonstration. So this is the Xbox Music app. It's pretty pretty. Uh, it shows the last things I've played, shows what's now playing, shows all music, shows top music, the things you'd expect out of what used to be Zune. However, if you want to search for new music, it isn't obvious to me. Like, there is no thing that says, search for artist. Like, there's all music, and I can scroll through all the music, but it wasn't just dead simple, where is the search button? So the search button is actually over here, and you have to go to the edge, and you go search, and then you can search for whatever you're looking for. So if I want to hear something by the Beatles, I can pick Beatles, and I can see, poof, there's the Beatles. Great. But that wasn't just dead simple to me because there was no on-screen prompt. I had to know that my search was over there. And the idea is that Windows 8 will teach you that that's where you always go for stuff. The problem is, as a mouse user, there's no over there. Like, I have to go up to the top corner and then I have to come down and only after the thing. So it's this weird motion to me where the mouse, I'm hoping you can see it, goes up, touches the corner, holds there for a second, then I get the, the transparent version, and then I pull back and I can see the full version so that I can do a search. That's not real intuitive to me. Also, with the touch interface, it's intuitive to scroll side to side. And even with the touchpad, I can do a side to side scroll sometimes. There we go. And it works. But a lot of mice don't have a left-right scroll. Now, if you're using a Microsoft mouse, you do. But otherwise, you've got to go down here to the bottom, grab the scroll bar, and move it, which is not super intuitive and not super efficient, especially since when something is playing, and I'm going to mute the sound so that you don't actually hear the thing that's playing, only because I don't want to get the detection by YouTube that I'm playing music that I don't own. So it's playing, and you can see that it plays down here. But then when we go back to, to scrolling or navigating, it goes away. Now, it's, the music is still playing, and I can get to it if I pull up. I can pause it. But then when I want to unpause it because I've done something else, if I were on a mouse, I have to go... I don't even know how to get to it. Like, it's not just go to the bottom. It's not go to the top. It's not over here because that's the start menu. The, this corner activates the this. So I don't even know how you resume playing in this interface. The only way I know to do it is to pull up from the bottom. So to me, that isn't intuitive and it's not a good experience. Now, because I'm using Lenovo Yoga, it works because I can just reach up and touch and I find myself bouncing between the keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, using the touchpad and touching the screen depending on what I'm doing and I work in a dual monitor environment quite a bit and find myself even reaching up to manipulate stuff on the screen in that environment. But for traditional mouse users, Windows 8 is kind of sucky because a lot of the apps assume or the Windows 8 specific apps assume that the hotkeys are going to work and that the keys are going to work and it just doesn't quite make it. There's just It's too hard to get to things on this edge and it's too hard to get to things on this app doesn't have it, but the pull downs from the top when those happen. Um, so yeah, and that's the other issue. That I'm more than often doing the back to the previous thing when I didn't mean to, just because I'll pick up and adjust the screen. But that's probably just a user training thing. But So I'm not real fond of Windows 8 if I were a mouse only user. 
on a device that is designed for Windows 8, Windows 8 is amazing. So my thought is upgrade to Windows 8 if you're going to buy hardware with a touch interface. I would not upgrade to Windows 8 if I was a desktop user who wasn't going to get a touch device or wasn't going to switch to using something very similar to the Magic Touchpad from Apple where you're going to have the ability to do those gestures and change things. So there you go.